Okay, well, welcome to the session on building sustainable community-based adaptation. And the topic or the experience that we'd like to share with you. Uh, let me check, everyone hear me well? If you can, you can raise your thumb up or any signal that I, I can see, that would be great. Okay, so in the case that you have any problem in terms of listening to a speaker, uh, you can raise your, your hands, okay. So, well, the session that we try to uh, discuss in the next uh, 90 minutes, which is about the experience, how to bring in the community forestry uh, to contribute to community-based adaptation. So I'm sure many of you have heard about community forestry or some of you or only, only a few of you have heard about the approach on the community forestry, but I'm sure uh, many of you, or I would say, uh, most of you understand the concept of community-based adaptation. So, well, be aware when you talk about community forestry that refer to the uh, initiative that increase the role of local people in governing and managing the uh, forest resources, regardless uh, in terms of the tenure uh, arrangement. So when the local people are managing the forest for their own benefit, so that we call as the uh, community forestry. Okay, and uh, well, I just want to share with you about one third of the forest globally uh, managed by community. And a number of thousand uh, local communities organize their own forest for their own benefit, because we see these are the uh, uh, real incentive for them to take care of the forest for the global uh, uh, agenda. Uh, when you talk about the uh, CBA or community-based adaptation, I assume that many of you recognize that we need to strengthen and enhance the resilience of the local communities because they are the one who get affected by the climate change impact and also they are vulnerable. So uh, meaning that we have to get them engaged in any plan or interventions and we talk about the uh, expanding the social network, how to help scaling up the uh, intervention uh, to adapt to climate change and also connecting to other institutions. I'm not talking about the government institution, but how can we strengthen their uh, local institution to prepare and ready to uh, uh, respond uh, to the climate change. And we have to ensure the sustainab sustainability of the community based adaptation uh, in our uh, working areas, uh, meaning that uh, they need to uh, be proactive, not just only responding spontaneously uh, to the climate change impact. Just give you some kind of snapshot when you talk about community uh, forestry that can contribute to community-based adaptation. We're talking about the uh, capacity development, having clear rights and tenures, because uh, many of the uh, community forest, they are issue their land certificate and that become clear tenure arrangement. Uh, improve the effective of uh, people participation and improve the governance. Uh, having a regulatory support in terms of the policy and legal instrument and also responding to local interests. When I say local interests that not always refer to communities but also uh, other stakeholder involved in the uh, in particular landscape or particular areas and then we apply their adaptive management. So just to give you some kind of snapshot when we try to make the connection between community forests and the uh, CBA. And today we have opportunities to share with all of you the experience one from uh, one from uh, Bangladesh and the second one from Thailand and the third one from Nepal. So without further ado, I would like to call the uh, first speaker to talk about community-based adaptation through a nature-based solution in climate vulnerability, vulnerable areas, the experience from Bangladesh. It will be presented by uh, Kasi from uh, Friendship NGO. Kasi? Yes. Can you see my okay, presentation? Let me, 
let me stop my uh, screen sharing. Can you see now? Yes, sir, we can. Okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, from Friendship Bangladesh, uh, founded by Runa Khan. Uh, we are implementing our programs, integrated approach since 2002, most in climate impacted areas. And we are now presenting Friendship Mangrove Afforestation Program in Southeast Bangladesh, which is community based adaptation for nature based solution in climate vulnerable communities. You know, Bangladesh is highly vulnerable to cyclone, storms, erosion, and this is locked by Himalayan North and Bay of Bengal in South. Our program is the intention, you know, to adjust with the poverty and population density and support people to be able to adapt with the situation due to climate change. And we are really invested our efforts for enhance institutional capacity at the same time raise environmental awareness. The project is very close to Sundarbon, largest mangrove forest in the world. And as we already aware, the mangrove forest is stored carbon in large quantities. It's a break wave strength. It acts as a barrier against embankment erosion and soil salination. It protects human lives, crops, and buildings on the coast. And also is create alternate opportunity for livelihood like shrimp, crab, fish, wood, fruits, honey. And just for a quick uh, understanding the historical perspective, historical challenges, you know, because of lack of community engagement in plantation and management, uh, the initiative actually in, 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 in previous uh, was faced huge uh, disruption. And there are some uh, plantation actually because of the low density is effective, it's very low. And as community is not really involved, uh, that's why, you know, the growing plantation is really difficult. So you see the goats destroy new plants. And very recently, Cyclone Amphant uh, reminded us our embankment and housing are not protected. Effective initiative of mangrove afforestation truly needed. And see our project, Friendship Participative Approach. The people you see around, they are engaged in plantation, in nursery. They are very much from local community for the same community. And we engage them, we train them how to uh, take care of plantation and how to take part in nursery. And in the below, you see that we created plant zone with the fencing, maintained selected local community caretakers we engaged. And at least five different mangrove species we planted to ensure biodiversity and resources. This is in the beginning, we uh, form community group uh, to make them understand why it's important. And we build their capacity, how to take part in plantation and nursery. And at the same time, we draw uh, the social mapping, engaging community to identify the areas to need awareness at the same time to make sure the protection. Bi-monthly meeting taking place in community to keep them updated what's happening and what the challenge remains. And at the same time, we also ensure their alternate livelihood. You see the uh, district uh, agriculture officer conducting training for the alternate livelihood. And in the right hand top, actually we have meeting, periodic meeting, quarterly meeting with the local government to make sure they are updated and they inform. In the below, local administrator opening new plantation. The lessons we learned, this is interesting, the new resources provided by planted mangrove forest, yet to quantify but promising. One example, I know the cattle, goats, they are now difficult to get entry in the grazing land. So people can have some uh, grass from the plantation area is abundant, so they can take uh, for their cattle. And funding limits uh, the magnitude of plantation, but there is a learning Nurseries can provide more saplings, replication is possible. The Friendship has the largest non-government level of nursery in the country. We need uh, to find ways for new funding, combination of adaptation by and for communities and mitigation at global level. As you all are aware, mangrove stores carbon four times more than tropical forest. So we need new stakeholders to be involved. And uh, this is the actually way forward to take this initiative forward. Our 
conclusion institutionalization of the climate adaptation and mitigation as a catalyst friendship engage local communities department of forest and local government to be part of the whole approach so that they take ownership and they are part of the growing trees and take care trees beyond the project time so that government are very much entitled uh, enlightened very much uh, happy because this is aligned with their national plan of action this is our uh, at a glance the uh, plantation area there are many like this the area actually a bit uh, close to the sundarban uh, so that uh, this is very much uh, aligned with the biodiversity and ecosystem uh, that's all from my side the presentation thank you so much Okay, very good. Thanks a lot, Kasi, and very concise. And uh, I think, well, I'm sure we can elaborate more uh, in this small group. I think the purpose of having this kind of a uh, case study sharing is just to kick off the discussion. Okay. I would request to visit www.friendship.ngo to know more. Perfect. Thanks a lot, uh, Daniel. But okay. So then the next one, the next case will be from uh, Northern of Thailand. And then I will do the share screen. Uh, uh, Matt, are you ready to go? Yes, we are ready. Okay, please. But uh, uh, our colleague, Mr. A, you uh, present. Okay, and then you can pass the phone. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, just go chat, uh, uh, chat. Short sentence, and then I can help you to translate. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, okay. 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 Uh, okay for climate-based uh, adaptation. This is Nampang model. เอ่อข้อมูลพื้นฐานของชุมชนน้ําพังประกอบด้วยชุมชนชาติพันธุ์ 3 so just give the uh, uh, the uh, uh, general context within the area. We have three ethnic groups working together. Uh, we have been settled in the area for more than 100 years uh, now uh, without, uh, with legal and not legal uh, support. Uh, we form a network uh, uh, about, we form a network of 10 villages altogether. And then from the photo, you can see that the, uh, the condition of the area is the mountainous area, covering the areas uh, approximately about 44,500 uh, hectares. And then you can see the map on the left-hand side, you see the map of Thailand and the uh, top corner in the red areas, that is the area we are talking about. <laughs> ทรัพยากรดินน้ําป่าที่ผ่านมาเอ่อก่อนที่จะมีน้ําพังโมเดลเนี่ยจะมีการใช้ประโยชน์ที่ดินอยู่ประมาณ 3,000 เฮกตาร์แล้วก็ส่วนใหญ่จะเป็นปลูกข้าวโพด 80% the land use in the past. Uh, people depend very much on the forested area, but anyhow, well, uh, about 68% covered by monoculture, which is maize, and about 14% uh, covered by upland, uh, upland rice cultivation, and then 7% uh, covered by the paddy field, and the rest covered by the rubber plantation and also some uh, uh, fruit orchard. So that, uh, that consists of the uh, 3,000 hectare of farmland. จากการใช้ประโยชน์ในที่ดินที่ผ่านมาทําให้เกิดผลกระทบการเปลี่ยนแปลงสภาพอากาศเช่นดินสไลด์ไฮแลนด์น้ําท่วมฉับพลันแล
So with the uh, uh, land use that we apply in the past, it uh, stimulate the uh, impact of the climate change, especially when we got the landslide in the area, a very serious drought, uh, flash flood, a long period of dry season that become uh, that we, we got uh, severe impact from these uh, climate evidence. เอ่อเลยมีแนวทางการดําเนินงานอยู่ 3 uh, after they have some kind of discussion and talk among their village uh, representatives, uh, they try to understand the issues and uh, concern and also their uh, ways how to move forward. They identify key fundamental solution that they have to address, how to make the uh, local institution stronger and how to make effective people participation in any uh, management plan or any intervention to fight with the uh, climate change. And also they need support from development agency, including government, civil society, and also other development agency in the area. Uh, so in order to make it uh, more uh, materialized, the Nampang model consists of three kind of a tri, or let's say like tri parties. One from the local, one from the uh, uh, development agency, and one from the government. If you look at the uh, diagram here, this is the local government that, rep that, that represents the sub-district administrative uh, uh, office. And then we have to work with the uh, civil society or the local NGO, which is the Northern Farmer Federation with the, uh, some support from the, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, Northern Farmer Federation is here and also the Northern uh, Development uh, Foundation. Uh, which is linked with the Hak Mueang Na network uh, in the area. จากการดําเนินงานที่ผ่านมาเกิดผลลัพธ์อยู่ประมาณ <laughs> Well, I think uh, the success that we have got so far, we have the, uh, a number of community-based enterprise uh, groups uh, uh, happen in the area. When we talk about community-based enterprise group here, that relate to uh, natural resource management. And then we have uh, fun to initiate more uh, community-based enterprise because they are local people. They don't have a big investment or capital, meaning they're in store into the uh, com community-based enterprise development fund uh, to provide some kind of micro credit or loans for those who would want to initiate the uh, community-based enterprise. Then we have fund to manage our uh, forest and natural resource in the area so that helped us to maintain the activities under the Nampang model. ครับสี่ก็คือมีการจัดการฐานข้อมูลและแผนที่ในระบบ <coughs> วัฒนเกษตรหรือเกษตรสุขภาษาในพื้นที่ทําก็ 
and a strong land use database. Well, without having the land use database, it's going to be difficult to manage the, uh, the landscape uh, uh, scale. Then we have clear uh, forest demarcation and boundary because in the area we have two national parks and it happened uh, several times in the past that we had conflict with the uh, uh, national park. So it set up some kind of clear uh, boundary demarcation. And at the same time, uh, changing from monoculture, then we have more kind of a permanent mix uh, uh, land use, and then we can return the uh, public land or public forest into the community forest at 1,600 hectare uh, back for the uh, uh, public use. And also we promote the, uh, rather than using or applying monoculture, we have mixed crop applying the concept and practice on the agroforestry, which is more than uh, 42 uh, hectare already happened in the area with both uh, economic crops and also permanent trees. We also have the scheme for the community water resource management uh, that provide uh, regulatory support on the water and also the uh, good quality of watershed. วางแผนการใช้ประโยชน์ในที่ดินและการจืดคลองให้เกิดความชัดเจนนะครับวันนี้สองก็คือชาวบ้านจะต้องมีส่วนร่วมเข้ามาจัดการทรัพยากรดิน
Yeah, I don't see. Uh, Luke uh, or Shambu, can I ask you to uh, to take that role? Shambu? Uh, sorry, Ron, I am calling Rama. Okay, trying to okay. call Rama. Okay. So otherwise, Luke can present. Okay. So okay, Luke. Sorry for the technical uh, issue because Brahma is sitting in the uh, uh, countryside. Uh, we somehow have low connectivity. Lok? So, uh, so I share on her behalf? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, welcome everyone. So we are sharing this uh, case like we call trees and bees. It is from southern part of Nepal and then where like uh, we applied this community-based adaptation in one of the community forests called Vishnupur uh, com uh, community forest user group. So uh, to give you a brief, brief background, it is located on southern part of Nepal like you can see by this uh, red uh, part. So it is located in province two and then Orion municipality. And then another thing I would like to highlight is this area is located on foothill of geologically fragile Chure range. Uh, it is uh, the area like uh, which receives like this uh, alluvial, uh, which is covered with alluvial and then so uh, uh, which also face, face uh, uh, drought. Uh, and then the area has tropical climate and then it is not so far from uh, in, uh, international boundary to India. So uh, this case is from Bishnupur Community Forest User Group, which is also a woman-led community forest user group. And then uh, talking about the community, there are 65 households and out of them, 26% are uh, poor. And then uh, the, uh, talking about livelihood of uh, people there, then most of them practice agriculture. And then, uh, uh, so the significant portion of their livelihood come from agriculture related things. Like for example, this uh, uh, paddy, sugar cane and so on. And then uh, there are like many uh, climate change related issue. And then uh, among them, most like uh, significant or like that affect most of the local communities are floods and drought. Means it isn't like dr drought like desert, but it is like uh, it, during dry period, uh, they don't have enough water, not only for irrigation, but also domestic consumption. Uh, talking about uh, this community-based kind uh, adaptation design, then, so we uh, 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 implemented the CBA through community forestry process and under leadership of community forestry user group. So uh, when we mention about leadership of community forest user group, it was led by executive committee of community forest user group, which is uh, uh, completely uh, comprised of women. And then uh, we uh, we conducted this vulnerable climate challenge vulnerability assessment following uh, community forestry process which is very participatory and then we, we followed same for adaptation planning and then implementation uh, so and then uh, as entailed by community forestry process then we work with local government and other sectoral government agencies for example uh, forest offices agriculture office uh, district soil conservation office and so on and uh, uh, as also like stipulated by community forestry uh, rules and regulation, then uh, um, so there were like uh, targeted livelihood, uh, targeted program to support livelihood of uh, poor. For, uh, that is where this program got the name Trees and Bees, means uh, uh, to plant trees both in forest and their farmland uh, or practice ag agroforestry and then have like. Uh, beef farming to support in their livelihood. So there were uh, multiple lessons coming from this exercise. Uh, and then first one uh, is similar to uh, the, uh, those came from other cases. So this strong institution is 
a, a must for uh, community-based adaptation and the community forest user group provides that strong institution because it is a formally registered uh, group in uh, um, the district forest office which is called now division forest office and uh, uh, so it has formal status so um, it is it remains there for forever and then uh, so it has uh, um, this inclusive leadership so for this case it was completely uh, led by women but in other community for user group also there should be at least uh, 50 percent uh, position should be occupied by women so similarly uh, like community forest like provides like a resource not only from forest but also like from many different sources right from community and then from other stakeholders to uh, plan and implement uh, uh, this uh, adaptation interventions and similarly uh, because of like huge size this community forestry network facilitated replication and outscaling. So I would like to highlight that in Nepal, there are more than 30,000 of like community forestry groups. Uh, there are like many different models of community forestry. So there are like, so all together, there are more than 30,000. So uh, uh, it provides that them huge network to replicate this model or uh, to scale out uh, this community-based adaptation. The second lesson is, Community forestry through uh, the community-based adaptation through community forestry empowers women. So, as highlighted, in, uh, as I highlighted that, so this was uh, led by women. So, um, uh, and then, but uh, I'd like to highlight that it is not only women who work on this. It is just they provide leadership. So, but they work with all other people, means other women, men, and then other marginalized groups such as. Um, uh, poor and other ethnic minorities. So they work with uh, all of them together. And then, uh, so their engagement in this initiative not only gave them confidence, but access to other network. Uh, so uh, they shared their experience that in the beginning, it was difficult. So in lack of their confidence, and then other stakeholders were also like uh, hesitating. But when they participated in this process and then uh, demonstrated that they can successfully uh, lead this kind of initiative, then other partners like uh, started, uh, uh, so they are expressed their interest to work with them together. And then they also inspired women from neighboring communities and then from other districts as well. Uh, similarly, uh, third lesson is that the monitoring and evaluation mechanism of community forests are useful also for community-based adaptation. So uh, uh, as uh, many of you know that community forests have like kind of different uh, this oversight mechanism. So uh, the executive committee of community forest user group, they, they have regular meeting and then uh, uh, for day-to-day -day operation. So they have also like responsibility to make sure uh, things go as planned. So they track uh, they, uh, they keep track of implementation similarly uh, the apex body in community forest user group is uh, like general assembly so every year uh, the uh, all the, the member of community forest user groups sit together and then they reflect their like progress like lesson and then they adjust their plan uh, to move further and similarly, because they have this formal status and then they receive support from all the go uh, government and then other agencies, so they have strong oversight from other agencies, including divisional forest office. So uh, there is like check and balance system. And in Edison, they have to do like this uh, uh, auditing and then uh, submit report to uh, other uh, government agencies and then their supporters. So yeah, uh, this is all from uh, Bishnupur. Thank you all. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, uh, Lok. Uh, we are a little bit uh, over the time here. So I think probably if we can just take uh, one or two questions, uh, if anyone has, but from the chat box, I could not see a uh, question yet, but more on the complimentary. And as I said earlier, uh, I have to say apology for Ramaji. 
uh, because she are sitting in the uh, in the in the rural setting, and then the internet become an issue, especially when we get heavy rain. Uh, our colleague from Nepal just uh, write me an email uh, and chat uh, that uh, she got the heavy rain and then the internet connection become uh, limited. Okay, uh, I cannot see any question yet, but you still have uh, for the person when you still have opportunities to uh, discuss and probably bring in your own experience. So as I said earlier, we just need to. Uh, bring these three case studies just to kick off the uh, the discussion, uh, and I'm sure you can have more interaction, even some question and answer later on. Okay, without uh, any question, we have one question uh, from. Ron, I see in the mm -hmm. chat box a question, something like, "How is the benefit sharing scheme in that community?" Okay. From so, okay, anyone like to respond? Uh, uh, I can share in a minute the from friendship side. Uh, we actually uh, help community to understand uh, the, uh, the this mangrove trees if they grow properly, if they take care, and they will find alternate livelihood opportunities. I mean, like crab, fish, beekeeping, these things, and some leaves are very much useful for them for loop and for different purposes. There are some fruits. And they are quite aware of those uh, benefits, and they consider Sundarban the mangrove forest as their mother. I mean, so they're the source of everything. So that made them convinced to be part of the whole thing. In Bangladesh, the tree mangrove tree cutting is forbidden until and unless proper permission. So that keeping the trees as it is, they find alternate opportunities. This is the things. Uh, the the and most importantly, they find mangrove uh, plantation forest as the safeguard from uh, cyclone and some other things, some uh, storm wave. Okay. Uh, that's why we are in progress. Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry for those who join this uh, session. Uh, if you are not in turn to speak, may you kindly uh, mute your microphone and then you will not uh, distract the speaker. Thanks a lot, Kasi. Uh, I see two questions, uh, but I have to manage Tom uh, quickly. Uh, there are two questions, one from uh, one about uh, Thailand, uh, which is about changing the monoculture to uh, mixed agriculture. Somehow it's quite challenged. Uh, probably Kun E can uh, tell us a little bit more. And the second one, how do the community uh, share profit from forest related project? Uh, I think part of it, uh, Kasi uh, already covered. A lesson were uh, incorporate in government policy for policy influence. Okay, this is about uh, yeah how to integrate this kind of a, a local uh, level experience into the policy level. Uh, and also, I see Shambu raised the hand. Uh, Shambu, uh, you would want to cover some part of it, but you have to do very quick, Shambu Ji. Okay, so I just uh, would like to say about the benefit sharing mechanism that is uh, happening in Nepal that by laws we have an act, forest act that says that okay, now the 50 percent of the you know total of the benefit generated from the you know, community uh, has to be spent uh, for the you know livelihood improvement of the poor women and uh, disadvantaged group that is one and then another one is rest of the money 25 percent should go for the forest development and then 25 percent should go for the infrastructure development within the community. There is no sharing of benefit to the government. That is the mm -hmm. overall from the community forest product. But the you can see the you know some of the picture of the beekeeping, you know, bee you know, beehive. Mm -hmm. So so we have identified, you know, we have they have prioritized the people who should be benefited because most of the people from the poor family are prioritized for, to get those benefit and they are getting the you know this type of the hives in the subsidized uh, no, 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 so, fully subsidized uh, rate for this beekeeping with the training. And not only beekeeping, they are getting a lot of other support, like for example, vegetable okay. gardening and then food right. cultivation and all these type of things. Thank you. Ron. Okay. Okay. Danya uh, Bhatt. Uh, should I say in 10 seconds, uh, that is uh, one line that is the... Okay, 10, 10 seconds. 
stand alone forest project is truly difficult so that friendship integrated the project with some other programs health education economic opportunities different other projects by friendship implementing the same area and connecting those benefits with the forest project so that people are you know they are getting their different uh, benefits from different angles. This is another way of keeping people, you know, convinced with the project. All right. Thanks a lot for your 10 seconds. <laughs> All right. I think I see a number of questions. Okay. Let's see how can we manage these questions. But I would like to continue with this small group. Uh, which uh, somehow we, I, I would note that down and then I try to come back to accommodate the uh, question that you put in the chat uh, box again. Lok, would you like to go for the breakout group? I just want to remind you that you may have less minutes in the uh, uh, breakout group. Lok? Uh, hello? Yes. Yeah, so dear all, we just heard experience and experiences and listen on community-based adaptation from the grounds. Like uh, Mr. Ron just shared that the next part of the session is breakout group discussion. We have noticed from the information you submitted when registering that all of you have very strong knowledge and experiences in CBA. In that regard, the objective of this breakout group discussion is to learn how CBA can go further, drawing from the lessons, from the cases, and your experiences. For that, we'll have three groups as shown on the screen. First, institutionalization and financing. Second, gender inclusion. And third, monitoring, evaluation, and learning. As you have guessed correctly, the groups will discuss in depth, focusing on those topics. In about a minute, each of you will be randomly sent to one of those breakout groups. There will be a, a facilitator in each of those groups, Kaji in group one, myself in group two, and Anjo Nai in group three. The discussion there will be uh, for less than 30 minutes because we already use some of our time and the facilitator in your group will guide you through the process. Thereafter, we will meet again in the plenary where session facilitators will share key points discussed in their breakout groups. I hope all of you will actively participate in the discussion in your breakout groups. Thank you. I know that Tom is very short, uh, especially in a topic that many of us are interested. Yeah, definitely. I we apologize for this. One finish run. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I underestimate the time, uh, even though we expand from 60 minutes to 90 minutes. But anyhow, thanks a lot for all the contribution. I observe in the uh, small group discussion, you have more interaction. Uh, okay. So do we get uh, group one back? Uh, Kasi, you got back. And then Lok, you got back. I haven't seen the... Ong Junai, you got back? Yes, okay. Piron, yes, yes, I will okay. back. And anyone from group two, uh, you got back? Anyone from group two? They, all of the room are closed now, so everyone should be back in the plenary. Okay, thanks a lot. We are back, okay. Piron, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, we are not, we are running out of time. Uh, and I would suggest that we ask each group to share with us. Uh, so group one, uh, anyone from group one would want to share with us? One can, uh, we can share if you allow. Yeah, please do, please do. Okay, uh, we have a very vibrant uh, presentation uh, sharing all the brilliant people. And in the very beginning, uh, they recommended uh, this Nepal experience. The, the, 
they feel the end use need to be allowed uh, allowed in the policy by policies and advocacy needed for other countries nepal is already exist uh, the to allow NGOs to be part of community forest officially with role clarification. Number two recommendation came that is the benefit sharing and support in development exists there, but they recommend decentralization of decision taking and action needed to promote community forest. Mm. And three, uh, they uh, recommended engaging women with leadership role important. As we know, in most uh, South Asia region, the men are away from the community for the livelihood part. So women role is very important and they are, have extra qualities to take care of community forest. Number four, actually important register as a group organization with government needed to have financial support and assistance. There are many spontaneous groups uh, at the community level, CBO, they are working, but uh, they didn't register themselves with the government, so it's important. Five, the product is really gaining from the forest. Uh, harvesting, selling market can be one source. Six, national institutions prefer to use community group that a channel can be explored. There are many national institutions. They have community level intervention. They prefer community group. Uh, someone... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just mute. Okay. Then uh, uh, seven, forest official can support for seedling, training, and other subsidy for enterprise development that can be part of government act. And I mean, now many areas, even in Bangladesh and many other countries, we are having support from forest official, but the recommendation came that should be part of the government act. And with the, the audit and other procedure uh, need to be defined and ensured. Eight, forest and community can find some mutually benefiting projects to ensure finance. Forest meaning I, uh, Department of Forest. Uh, nine, uh, you know, tripartite understanding uh, is the Bangladesh experience from friendship. That is engagement of local government, community and forest department is really important. And 10, uh, one other important uh, point that is awareness generation simultaneously, mostly for women uh, needed. 11, provision needed to hand over potential forest areas uh, to the community with certain conditions so that they feel ownership. I mean, the, uh, the recommendation actually the certain areas is really potential for afforestation or deforestation need to hand over to the community with the feeling of ownership so that they can involve this um, themselves with their rights. Last but not least, that is introduced new technology we learned from West Bengal, uh, India, that is Kolkata. Uh, to protect river embankment uh, the, uh, with, along with the mangrove plantation. These ideas came from uh, the group. They, the, uh, these are 12 points, right? That is wonderful. Okay, we'll come back okay. if anyone like to add more uh, comments. Sure, sure. Okay, sure. group two, group two, anyone would want to share with us? Group two. Group two on gender. Group two. Uh, so, yeah, I would like to share. Hello. Yes, please. You hear me, right? So, yeah, I would like to yes. share my uh, screen. Uh, so, uh, give me. Yeah, uh, yes. Right. So, can you see my screen? Yes, please. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So our group had very interesting discussion on two questions. First was about the lessons from the cases that are applicable to the participants' context in empowering vulnerable groups and uh, including women, right? So uh, you can see on the screen that like key points from our discussion that women are women are interested in particip participating in the groups, uh, uh, and then so yeah, that would uh, help them to like bring gender parity and then integrated approach. Pro uh, which provide also access to health encourage women to participate in CBA and policy intervention, for example, that from Nepal is important for gender inclusion. And then uh, next is like women's leadership in uh, conserving mangroves such as that. So because that resource is important to them, that's why they participate in conservation of mangrove. And then 
So the benefit sharing, like inclusive benefit sharing, again, this from Nepal, so it is important for gender inclusion. So that motivates or encourages women, uh, women to participate in uh, uh, community-based adaptation. So talking about challenges and then suggestions to every address them. So yeah, so uh, the, for, for example, from the case of Bangladesh, then most men uh, go to city for work and then women are left. So that is the left like, so there is like gap in gender. And then, so yeah, the challenge in gender inclusion. And then similarly, there are like uh, uh, right and tenure issues, which ex exclude landless people. Uh, and then there is like high poverty and so that also add on the challenge. And then there like, so sometimes there is like inadequate knowledge on gender roles and responsibilities. And similarly, like climate change have differential impacts to different group of people. So to address those issues, so we need to take integrated approach and there, so before we design this community-based adaptation, so we need to have deep knowledge of the context so that what we design or like the approach we take yeah, is suitable for that particular context. And then when we're engaging with them, so we, uh, for like gender inclusion, so we, we, uh, so working with women only is not enough. So we need to engage with families and then beyond them. And similarly, not just in projects. So yeah, we have to engage beyond the project as well. And then uh, to address issues of, for example, like landless and others. So means we need to educate a whole spectrum of society, not just them. And then, uh, so our uh, while designing intervention or approach, so we need to assess differential impact, consulting with uh, the groups that are impacted, and then finding the best option that support them. Yeah, uh, this is all from our group. Thank you. Uh, wonderful. Okay, I will ask for additional comment later on. Uh, I think better to hear from group three. Yes, yes, Piron, I will share. Hello? Yes. Okay, Piron, can you see, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay. So yes, our group also, we have a very good discussion and also we have a very limited time. So that's why uh, some participants uh, may have, uh, they are, you know, uh, uh, planning, you know, the point, so they like to share. So in terms of the, you know, lesson, so uh, what they have learned from the three cases, so shared by the, our friend. So good, uh, from all three cases, community participation and ownership. So this is a you know, very good for the community-based adaptation. And also the community have a, a net capacity and also where empower in managing natural resources. So this is also good learning point for them. And also uh, in Nepal case, so the local community uh, uh, time sign, you know, strand line, you know, the block, they are livelihood. So this is also good because they don't need to migrate to the other area for their you know, livelihood. So uh, at the last point, so uh, someone shared the beneficiary screen. So this is a very clear because uh, one participant, so uh, he is uh, working uh, with indigenous people. So he can practice this uh, beneficiary screen for his contest. So, and also the uh, time model, Nampan model. So this is a, a good uh, uh, for, for one participant because here we can see uh, uh, well, cooperation and coordination, not only with the communities, but also the government. So this is a you know, the good uh, institutional strengthening uh, approach and also the inclusive cooperation. So this is also a good learning point. And also uh, in the case of Nepal, uh, women community groups, so they did a great job and also good cooperation with government and uh, development organization as well. So in Thailand case, so they deploy the land use database. So this is also very useful for monitoring and evaluation and also learning what they need to do in future. So in the case of Nepal, uh, they create you know, job opportunities you know, in their area by using their local resources. So this is uh, you know, very uh, uh, good for the, you know, the community. So these are you know, the learning points from our uh, college. So okay. uh, for, for, for challenges and you know the suggestion, 
So one participant shared that. So in collecting you know, baseline data and also climate-related vulnerability assessment, gender-related vulnerability assessment. So in this case, so the development organization uh, has uh, you know, some issue you know, to get the time dedication from the local community. So this is you know, the challenges for the monitoring and evaluation. And also another you know, uh, college you know, share. So one CBA uh, community-based adaptation approach is just only useful for the one specific community. So rather than other you know, the community, so that's why you know the C subject uh, later I will share. And also there are you know, misunderstanding uh, upon uh, policy, so due to limited asset information, because the, the local community has limited asset the information from the uh, uh, government uh, policy level side. So that's why there are some gap between policy and implementation level. So this is also uh, one challenge as related to the MNE. And also uh, in the case of living, so the local community practice, community-based monitoring and information sharing mechanism. So in this case, sometimes the local community cannot find a solution how to integrate the community perspective, community data onto the uh, government platform. So this is also you know, the one challenges. So in terms of su su suggestion, so nature-based solution should be practiced so, uh, so to, to, to cover you know, uh, all community. Okay, nine. Uh, nine. Oh, we cannot hear you. Okay. And also, you know, Hello? Yes, please go ahead. Okay, sorry because of internet. Go uh, ahead. Connection. Okay, so uh, be because of the, new, uh, uh, the, the the policy information gap between community and government policy, community themselves should try to have a policy information actively, not passively, and also NGO, CSO, and government side should let them community know any update policy and instruction. Monitoring and evaluation and learning approach should be based on the local context. So rather than you know, uh, 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 copy from the other you know, the country or other area. And also in the case of uh, BNN, so every year annual roundtable discussion uh, has been organized through inviting the multi-stakeholder, in, including the local community. So in this roundtable discussion, the local community can share their issues, their problem, and also they can discuss with the uh, uh, government uh, sector. So this is also you know, the good solution. And also the uh, communi communicating with the local government uh, should be considered uh, from the government side, uh, the community perspective and data. And also the should organize a chain basic among community and also the between government and community as well. So to share the information uh, each other. And also another solution point is uh, uh, community knowledge are uh, always, you know, the neglect in the a policy and a legal framework development. So that's why one participant suggested, so in the government education and curriculum, so community knowledge uh, should be you know, uh, acknowledged or recognized. So these are you know, the suggestions to improve monitoring evaluation and learning. So thank you. Uh, thanks uh, again and all for this summarizing the group work. Now we are a little bit running out of time. So, I will take this moment to summarize summarize the uh, session that what we discussed in the last uh, 90 minutes that basically this session was designed based on the learning from the past CBA piloting projects that most of the projects were there were the serious issues that uh, that how CBAs were not able to uh, in, incorporate the meaningful participation of the vulnerable groups and continuation of the adaptation initiatives after the termination of the experimental supports. So this was the main idea of the, uh, this session. So I am Rajesh Rai. I am a senior program officer of RECO that I will summarize this session that 
the major two questions we raised for this uh, session was that how community forests can resolve the challenges to institutionalize and financing CBA and how community forests can offer leadership opportunity for women and marginalized groups in the CBA. So we mainly presented three cases from Bangladesh, Nepal, and Thailand, which were suggested that how community-based organizations, particularly community forest user group, can help to strengthen and implementation of the CBA. This is because community forests and climate risks are co-located, mostly co-located, and the implementation of CBA through community forest would provide a strong foundation to secure the finance since it can link adaptation initiatives with local development plan and also the community forests they have their own resources itself to manage the forest so the first case was about the community based mangrove plantations from bangladesh which highlights how participation of local community would be helpful in plantation management which can contribute to reduce the risks from natural disasters, including storms and cyclones. However, it is also important to support them for alternative livelihoods, livelihoods options to reduce their reliance on the forest resources. Therefore, the CBA, can, CBA initiatives can be more effective with establishing collaboration with local government and the forest office, uh, offices. So this can help to mainstream community-based uh, adaptation measures into the local development plan. The second case was from uh, Thailand uh, about the land and natural resource management for adaptation, introducing the Nam Pham model. The model is really interesting that because it has developed the tripartite party institutions that include the community, civil society, and the government organizations. So these institutions, they interact closely with each other and develop the plan. So based on that, the, the institution was successful to establish the number of community-based enterprises which are uh, depend on the natural resources and establishment of the community-based uh, uh, community enterprises. So, in addition also that when we are talking about the establishment of the community-based enterprises, then they require the fund. So this model is also help, is also successful to establish the community-based enterprises funds as well as the natural resource management funds. So they have also uh, provide the some information and have the good initiatives that uh, because this community-based adaptation, they did not only implement in the small community level, it was in the landscape level. So they have prepared the land use database and also the forest demarcation and also community forest development, which was promoting the agro agroforestry and com conserving the water resources. So, so lesson from this Nam Phang model is that if we have a clear land use planning, and tenure rights with a strong community-based institutions and have the support from government and private sectors, then local community can really fight against the climate change. And the third case was from Nepal, which was about the trees and bees program, which is led by women-led Vishnupur community forest user groups. And this community forest is located in the foothills of the fragile Chure regions. So in this area, floods and water scarcity are the major issues. And what the community forest user group did is that they did the adaptation, they prepared the adaptation plan following the climate vulnerability assessment with community forest process. And the main activities was to rehabilitate the degraded area by planting native species, but they link this native plantation with the beekeeping. So from the beekeeping that people can earn the money and also they can rehabilitate the degraded area from the plantations. And what we learned from this is that since the community forest user group is uh, the legally recognized group, it helped to collaborate with the local municipality and government agencies to receive the support and as well as to upskill the program. So, and also that this has also provides an opportunity to improve women leadership in the community-based adaptation. And 
the regular institutional process of the community forest, including the general assembly, community meeting, and the participatory monitoring and evaluation help to improve the community-based interventions. So from these cases that we can see that community forests with a strong regulatory support can be an appropriate local institution to implement the community-based adaptation. From this approach, community-based adaptation can get benefits since community forest user groups have well-established norms and intensive, intensive experience in the forest management. They have also the very good group mobilizations with the benefit sharing mechanisms, leadership development, livelihood improvement, and the equitable benefit sharing. So implementing community-based adaptation through community forests can help to diversify the climate role of forests beyond the mitigation. And also, it is also interesting to see that the, this approach can integrate the community-based adaptation with the ecosystem-based adaptation. So, but for this, that we need to have a clear land use planning and the tenure rights with a strong engagement of other stakeholders, including the government and civil society, which we see in the two cases that we need this tripartite arrangements that can really help to sustain the community forest, uh, community based adaptation. And this approach really helped to mainstream community based adaptation into the local development plans. So, with these remarks, I, I would like to thank all participants and the presenters for your active participation. We would like to also thank IIED, Friendship, Nangfang, and the Hwionti. And also, I would like to thank Litijia and Farah for their technical supports. We hope that you enjoyed from this session and have enough uh, take home messages to improve the community based adaptation in the future. Thank you. Have a good day.